What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling fantastic today. So for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and shares. Your support really is just amazing, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So, the, so Cancer, the purpose of this channel for those of you who have Cancer in your placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, wherever Cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old Moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on a situation and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Gems, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. So Cancer, the moon is in Aries. And with the moon being in Aries, Cancer, this is just a great energy to just like, you know, take, you might be feeling just like more ambitious, just more bold. If we have any ideas, you know, or any sort of like been feeling inspired by anything, Aries is a is a sign of just like taking action. So go for it, Cancer, you know, any sort of like, you know, Aries, they live in the first house and any sort of like, you know, that has to deal with the house of, or, you know, it's the house of self. And so any sort of things, Cancer, you know, I feel like any sort of like self-improvements, anything along those lines. Aries energy is great for that. But you may also want to keep in mind, Cancer, you be because Aries can be, you know, hot energy, you know, they're the initiators of the Zodiac, might be feeling a touch more, uh, more aggressive or more bold than normal. So just something to keep eyes on, Cancer. And then also, the moon is in a waning crescent or a balsamic moon phase. And this is a time to just like release control to the, to the universe, you know, to really kind of take some time, relax, recuperate, really kind of get a game plan and think about, you know, what it is that you want to get started, especially, you know, we're getting by the time the when this new cycle is getting ready to happen, you know, we're going to where it's happening right before the, the soul or on the day of like the the solar eclipse. So there's going to be a lot of changes happening, Cancer. So take this time, reflect, reconnect with with yourself, do some self-care, some breathing, you know, do a deep dive and just figure out where it is that you want to, what you want to tackle in life because this new moon is, or, you know, this eclipse is happening in Aries. So this is a great time for this energy, Cancer. You know, set your intentions. And then last couple things. These readings that I do, oh, I love it. These readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings. So apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then the decks that I'm working with, I've included links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested there, Cancer. But look at you, Cancer, we're getting airborne. Look at you. See, you got the sixth card of Aquarius here, which airplane, which is the airplane card. <laughs> and the airplane card, Cancer. This is a card of travel, long distance, speed, overcome, rise up, freedom, no boundaries, breaking free, in control, things work out, taking off, leave it behind, internal guidance systems. And I like this, Cancer. You know, one, <clears throat> really thinking about like that like the things working out the, the the internal guiding system things to overcome you know this is a time really cancer like I was saying, you know, really check in with yourself. I feel like with this, you know, figure out where you want to go long term. Just think with this long distance, you know, where do you see yourself going? Where did this journey, where's this journey headed? You know, these are this, this, these I feel like are, and this is something cancer. I'm not saying that you have to get this figured out by the eclipse. You know, it's more so just like get you thinking in that direct, in that direction. How can we get this ball moving now so that as these energies start really kind of ramping up and ramping ramping up and ramping up, you know, we're, we're already, we've, we've, we've got our, got our, you know, we've got our surfboard out there. Now we're just like 
was gonna say even riding the wave cancer you might even be creating waves you know at this point new opportunities and whatnot but i really feel like just listening to that to your your higher self you know so however you connect to source and figuring out where where this stuff is trying to lead you and i feel like things are going to work out for you especially if you've been feeling maybe like we've been kind of going maybe kind of aimless as of late great time you know so write some things you know just like what do you either where do you want to improve what are some things that you'd like to do you know either as a hobby maybe even as a career whatever go go the distance cancer but i also feel like you know maybe if we've been if we haven't been feeling inspired or not sure some good things i don't feel like you have to travel like a long distance but i feel like just like maybe traveling in general whether that be maybe doing some research you know maybe traveling like as far as like traveling in the mind possibly you know doing some you know doing some expansion expansion as far as like learning or maybe this is like going to like a park or maybe going on a hike or going you know to buy some body buy a body of water something along maybe a campfire but something i feel like that maybe if we can just like get get the energy moving maybe we'll find more inspiration if that's something that's resonating with you cancer but on a base level you know this could just be cancer just going out to just doing some traveling you know there's been i feel like just kind of with like where the energies are at you know gemini being in venus or you know a venus in gemini wouldn't that be something <laughs> that it just seems like that's where the energies are going you know it's like it's the energies have been leaning towards like exploration and just like it's interesting cancer but let's see how we can work with this energies here And you know, just last little thing, you know, if we've been thinking, just thinking about the freedom, you know, if we've been feeling like in a place where we haven't felt free or just like there've been this all these boundaries or anything or something along those lines, you know, let's, let's get ourselves in a place where we just kind of feel a little more free with our energy and, but let's, let's see what we got here, Cancer. Interesting. Okay. I like that. Because you got the huh, one of Aquarius's cards, you got the Knight of Swords in reverse here, and I feel like with this Cancer, you know, if there's really, you know, if there's something that we've been wanting to, well, first off, you know, I feel like if we're not sure as far as like you know what direction that we're going in. You know, really, the Knight of Swords asks us to do that research, to look into that. And then when we do that research, you know, it's having that follow through afterwards. You know, once you once you've started that goal, seeing where that's going to take you and, and really, you know, Aquarius energy, you know, this is I feel like we're really in a time where especially if we're thinking about, you know, like, let's say, like, where do we want to take like maybe like career or something along those lines this is great innovative energy you know if we're whatever dreams that you've had you know this is not a time for like what do i want to put for like things that are We want ideas that are more kind of like non-conformist, you know what I mean? The more kind of outside of the box that you can think, I feel like the better, you know? Because then we're in, we're in an age of just like inspiration and, and just newness and we're just like a new age. So if we can just think of just like, there are no such things as a crazy idea right now, Cancer. I feel like the only crazy idea is the one that's not being implemented. So don't be afraid to rise up to this challenge. And you know, don't be afraid to maybe just even think with this network, maybe reach out for some people. Maybe you don't necessarily, we may not have to travel to get to network with these people, but maybe even just like going on like, you know, maybe going on like social media or something and just using like a soundboard or you know like just getting bouncing some ideas but you know be be open to that cancer you know as far as like the growth but i also feel that with this you know even just like on a personal level you know like self-improvement if it's just like working in a hobby you know health you know diet whatever don't be afraid of new challenges, Cancer, of, try, you know, of trying new things, you know, of, of, of breaking free and just seeing where just like life takes you, okay? Hope that makes sense. All right. Let's see what else we have, Cancer. Interesting. Wow. All this? Okay. Oh. All right, Cancer. So we're thinking big here. 
Wow, we're thinking real big cancer. So let me tell you what just happened here. So you got 10 of stars in reverse. However, and I, I actually, I like that. You have 10 of stars in reverse here. And then you got the page of moons. You got the chariot. And then you got the wheel of fortune. And so just before we really break this down, I do feel like that if we've been thinking about travels, maybe for some of you, just with the, you know, chariot in this airplane card here, I feel like, you know, wherever it is that you're entertaining, you know, get, see, see why, you know, like if, if it's been like a real strong impulse and I get, you know, like, you know, money might be a little strange right now. So, you know, apply it to your situation, but I feel like don't be afraid to like get out there, you know, cancer. I feel like this page of moons is saying, you know, just kind of be resourceful, be imaginative. You know, if we don't have, because maybe if we don't think about this, if we can't get the travel and like uh, just by ourselves, maybe this is something where we kind of pitch it to some friends. Maybe we all kind of pitch in on something along those lines but just something to think about cancer but i do feel like that with also with this energy cancer one way to work with this is to really you know start thinking about what what you want to do you know what like long term you know what is what is our kind of like our game plan here you know just and again just start thinking about it because the ten of pentacles our stars is our legacy you know what what we plan on leaving behind whatever it is that we whatever it is that we want to build and cancer i mean really whatever this thing is that you want dream big you know as, as big as you want you know because we are on a place of it's been nothing but just like non-stop cycles you know we're just like it's the the universe is really, I feel like, trying to just like push us to really like rise up. I mean, come on, Cancer, you came through in a strong way here. So this is the time to really take the reins on this chariot and figure out where, you know, guide guide this wheel. Take the wheel, Cancer. Where do you want to fly this plane? You know, look at you. Maybe you want to become a pilot, Cancer. Wouldn't that be epic? But Whatever this is, Cancer, this really is say, saying, you know, like kind of how profound to be right before the eclipse, you know, think about some of this stuff, Cancer, and really, you know, dream, dream big. It, because even just last little thing, you know, this, I feel like this could be a, well, I mean, even if this didn't happen, this is just a great time for it in general, Cancer. But Jupiter, the Wheel of Fortune, is exalted in our sign, you know, like it, it, Jupiter likes being in our energy. So... Work with this now. Can oh, and, and Jupiter's going to be, you know, what a great time to be thinking about where you want to invest in your life too, Cancer, because Jupiter's going to be moving into Taurus here, you know, with, um, next month in May, like the middle of May, I want to say the 15th, or the, I want to say, I think it's more the 16th. So be thinking about this stuff, Cancer. Where do you want to, we're going the distance. So where do you, where do you see this, you know, what does Ten of Pentacles look like for you? And don't be afraid of the journey, okay? All right, let's get some, Let's see what are some, actually, let me get some, uh, some tea here. I've been recording all day, Cancer, and now it's starting to, I've been doing the planetary spreads and where they, I love doing them, but man, they're beefy. <laughs> all righty. I was like, what, what, what are we doing? Let's see what are some challenges, Cancer. Interesting. Okay, that, that makes sense. Because you got here, well, you got the nine of moons in reverse here. Interesting. And then we got the, <clears throat> excuse me, we got the knight of wands in reverse, Cancer. And I feel like with, let's start here. Because some challenges, you know, I feel like that maybe some of us, you know, maybe we're not sure if we're just thinking about like, like more so kind of like on the destiny aspect as far as like, you know, where, what is, what is like next chapter look like if, if we're on that page. The thing with the nine of moons is that this is the nine of cups. And when we're thinking about what our destiny is, where we want to go in life, you know, we want to be steeped in that energy. We want to be doing those things that attract that energy. So for example, if you want to be a pilot, you know, looking into maybe some courses, for example, you know, maybe meeting up, um, maybe meeting a couple of nights here possibly you know just with these people being here you know maybe this is something you know maybe getting like a mentors you know maybe start maybe buying like your i'm not sure how that works with pilots but you know maybe getting like a a, 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 a pilot to get up or maybe like a, a, a look up what all the things that you need to be a pilot cancer <laughs> first off 
do the research, Kansas. I can't be doing everything for you. <laughs> I'm kidding. But also, you know, maybe just like doing the things like being being in that energy, doing that research, you know, start attracting that energy right now. You know, maybe if um, if we have to move somewhere, for example, you know, maybe like for this this pilot thing, you know, if this is something where you need to think about moving, maybe start putting your job applications or start looking for courses around that area. You know, just letting the universe know this is where you're trying to guide the energy because we are a magnet cancer and whatever thoughts and things that we're trying to attract, the universe will bring that way. But cancer is one thing to, you know, it's, all, all of that to say, this is something that you, you got to take action on this stuff. It's not like Wheel of Fortune doesn't just like fall into your lap. You know, like where, where when we talk about abundance and opportunities, we have to go out and seize them. Listen to that in, internal guidance system. If something is, tr is, is pulling you towards being a pilot, no one's saying that you have to, let's say if we're at our, uh, like a job, or an existing job, for example. No one's saying that you got to quit your job, but find a way to balance this stuff out here. Or... If this is even just like, you know, incorporating just some more creative stuff into our world, Cancer, whatever, you know, however you want to paint this legacy here, you want a little more creation and, you know, doing some more things that you love doing as far as like your hobbies and things. Carving out the time for this cancer, you know, it's one thing to just like sit in and not to say this, that you're doing this, but it's like, it's one thing to wish this stuff like, oh man, have you ever caught yourself saying this cancer? It's just like, man, I wish I had more time for X. And then it's just like, well, why don't we have more time for X? Let's carve out this time. Let's nine of moons. Because if we keep saying that, you know, we don't have enough time for this, then the time's not going to appear. Let's make the moments. Let's manifest these little pockets for whatever, for studying, for creation. How However, this is looking, Cancer. I hope that makes sense. But um, let's uh, let's get a little bit more on this. All right, Queen of Swords. Absolutely. You know what? Look at that. You've gone from a night. You now we're leveling up, Cancer. You've gone from a night, and now we're getting some clarity here. You've gotten to the Queen of Swords, and really, Cancer. I feel that if this is something that if we just Whatever this is, if we just start taking steps towards thinking about it, you know, just even just like start maybe even making just like a vision board, something along those lines, just thinking, you know, if you want to maybe be at a certain weight during this time, or maybe you want to make more time to paint or to read or to walk or to whatever. I feel like it's like once you once you know that thing that you want to do, then, you know, let that <clears throat> Let that motivate you. Let that drive you. Let that be the indicator that it's it's time to get that chariot moving. Because, in order to get to the next step, the the King of Swords, it's it's one thing to have all this information, but in order to turn it into wisdom, we have to put it into you know put it into application. So. <clears throat> You know, just something, something to think about, Cancer. You know, this, this is kind of like a some, some big, big stuff we're thinking about here. But it's, it's, it's appropriate for the time. And you know what, Cancer? Not to say that you need, like, you have to think about this. But if we're, this is not even something that, you, maybe this is not even something that's on your mind. You know, get on your radar, Cancer. You know, because this is good stuff to be thinking about. Just some what ways that we want to improve, just in general. You know, like I feel like that's always a great place to be for the just, just life and just, but especially for the chariot. So. All right, Cancer, let's get some, speaking of taking action, let's get some advice from the action planet Mars and see how we can, how we can work with this stuff here. Wow. All right, Cancer. <laughs> Wow. So you got the night. Well, we're racking up nights here, Cancer. You got the night of stars in reverse. Wow. And they're all in reverse, Cancer. We got the night of stars here. And then we have the six of wands in reverse. More. And with this night of stars popping up, you know, I... Honestly, you know, the, the Knight of Stars, he's can be, he's a, he's an interesting one for me. He's a type, he's considered the slowest moving knight in the deck. So I do feel like for some of us, if we've been sitting on for some kind of thing, we've been feeling like there's a need for a change for like a little while here. 
I feel like this Knight of Wands, or excuse me, Knight of Stars is just like a let's let's think about getting some things moving here, Cancer. I'm also getting with with this Knight though, that when it comes to this journey, you know, when we're thinking about this stuff, even when we get into this, into when we start this thing, you know, we don't want to, because I feel, how, how do I want to put this, Cancer? I feel like when we get that, when we get that knowing of what we want to do, Queen of Swords, that realization of where we want the direction to go, we can get in a hurry. You know, we want to get this thing moving like right now. And I know we do how we just talked about this, but we're reading intuitively, Cancer. And Knight of Stars can also be a card of just like impatience, you know, especially being in reverse. So this is something that, you know, we don't want to, you know, the journey is going to take as long as it's going to take and don't let that feel like if things are going slow don't make that feel like that you're going to be defeated especially because things may slow down a little bit especially when jupiter gets into taurus towards the you know middle of may but that's not that's not a bad thing cancer if anything that allows the abundance it allows us to think long term in the abundance and to celebrate the little wins along the way, you know, because if we're just like, look, keep looking for that big win, it diminishes this, it diminishes that whole experience up until that point. With the six of wands being in reverse, it's remembering that all of those little wins is what accumulates to that big win. You know, when we when we stay steeped in those little wins, we keep attracting that energy until we get that massive one where it's just like a big old celebration. So... You know, something to think about, Cancer. And the last thing with this Knight of Stars, just with where these energies are going, especially if we've been feeling kind of aimless, the Knight of Stars, and this is not to get you nervous or anything, but he's my card of if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So just something to think about, you know. And again, we don't have to have it solved, but it's just so that we get it thinking about it. Because Six of Wands, this is going to be a journey, but it's going to be totally worth it in the end because you're working towards your destiny, your Wheel of Fortune, your Ten of Pentacles. So... Let's see what else we got, Cancer. Both? Okay, come on. All right, Cancer, let's see what else we got here. Last couple bits here. And Tourette, love it. So we got the full moon card here, and then we have the five of wands in reverse. And then let's go ahead, and we're gonna switch back over here, Cancer. I love it. Because with the five of wands, you know, this really to me just like, if, we, if there's just been like something that, like a, I don't wanna say like a conflict, but if we just been feeling like this, this need for, if we just feel like that our energies can be like just we can express our energies more just like refined or just like stronger or I guess it, like if we've been feeling like that how do I want to put this cancer I just feel like that if we've been feeling like things have been <clears throat> excuse me have been getting in our way let's say we, we've been like maybe some kind of like hurdles or just like like not having a direction or anything along those lines you know the the five of wands can be in order to like assuage the conflict it's getting a game plan it's figuring out why there's a conflict in the first place and then figuring out how we can get over this so that we can get to that full moon because the full moon that's where we reap what we sow that's the that's the time of celebration and so cancer in order to get this abundance we have to i mean because you got three nights in reverse there we got to get something started you know and start you know <clears throat> and just thinking about this stuff here you know and that's like you know in this and this is not where something where i feel like it's like you know cancer like a, a pressure you know like i don't feel like think about something cancer grow no cancer is just more so just like um it's like, I just like the energies are in this place where it's just like, what do you, what do you want? You know, like, where do you, 
what do you want what are you trying to unlock here you know so you see this keyhole in the moon here you know what potential are you trying to bring forth and then go do that cancer you know make this thing and live live this this journey to the fullest really 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 you know cherry it all the way to your wheel of fortune to your destiny to your ten of pentacles so i think i'm gonna leave that there cancer yeah i think that's yeah that thing is gonna be a good place so interesting reading for sure you know but i this is a great we're in this is like very auspicious energy cancer you know like it's this is a time like really just opportunities are all, all over the place so you know if something resonates with you or you know you, you know give it a thumbs up and share this cancer especially if you know someone who's been just maybe maybe been kind of like because it's interesting this five of wands it's like you know if we're been kind of like just like at odds with something you know maybe like struggling with where life is at so far or something along those lines you know you know, share this, Cancer, if you know someone who might be kind of struggling with this, who may, who's having trouble maybe seeing the victory, maybe even seeing the abundance in this. And, but know that, I mean, come on, chair it up, right? We're going to, we're going to find to the full moon. Like, come on, Cancer. Absolutely. We can get over this, you know, get through this thing, but it's just getting a game plan and then persevering through this. And then if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that bell button. You get notified when I have these videos each day. And then as far as social media, I'm working on the, the, the traditional ones, of course, you know, but I'm on this app, Insight Timer. Great app if you're needing some motivation there. Um, but I created a group on there called Zodiac Rays in the Vibration. And it's a meditation group to drop positive affirmations, encouraging messages, you know, especially with you getting ready to, you pondering life over here. Drop some nuggets of wisdom, Cancer, as you're, as you're going on this journey. And again, that's on the app Insight Timer, and the group is called Zodiac Rays in the Vibration. All this all in the description box below, Cancer. And then last a little bit. You know, check your, you know, what, while you're figuring out, you know, you know, where you want to go in life, what great way, check your sun, your moon, your rising, and you can even check like your personal planets, you know, Mercury, Mars, Mercury, Venus, and Mars are going to be, plus your sun, moon, and rising, those are going to be your personal planets, those are like, you know, those, those, uh, it's a great place to start cancer, kind of see where your energies are kind of driving towards, so check that out, and then come check out my other channel, Alchemist State. I do weekly videos, monthly videos, and the occasional birthday video of cancer. It's a good old time. And all that housekeeping down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise cards here so I can get you out of here. Hermit. <laughs> you got the hermit in reverse here, cancer. You know, while I'm shuffling for your oracle card with the hermit being in reverse. Cancer, this is a great time to, wow. The, yes, the waning crescent. On the bottom here, hold on, let me let me show you, Cancer. On the bottom here, I don't know how well you can see that. Says the Hermit. You know, that's a card that's represented by the Waxing Crescent. This is this is a great time. Do some meditation, do some recuperation, and just just do some ruminate on this, Cancer. Figure out where what's what's this next cycle looking like for you? You know, what do you want to improve? And I know it's like we're, I feel like we're always thinking about stuff to do, but Cancer, that's a beautiful part of life. There's always something to do. There's always new ways to improve and to grow but absolutely you got the eye card in reverse here and i feel like we got to get eyes on this cancer get eyes on our dreams get eyes on the you know and in, in, in get a sense of what our vision looks like you know what do we want to do and then cancer just with that evil eye protect that dream you know and whatever this is that you want to do you know be you know, just thinking with that five of wands, you know, people may not agree with how you're use, utilizing your energy. You know, they may not understand your vision, you know, but that's fine. Let them, you you let them know, like, you, don't worry, you, it'll make sense for you with time, you know, but this is something, this is your destiny, Cancer, and think about this. Think about where you want to go, what that looks like, because, I mean, we got, imagine what you're going to reap. You know, look at what you're reaping, full moon benefits. You know, this is one of the the special major arcana cards in this deck. So something special can be happening during this this these eclipses, Cancer. So all right, I'm going to leave that there. Something to think about. But you stay safe out there. You keep eyes on that. Well, I wonder if I should. Well, 
you know, for the eclipse and stuff, Cancer, let me actually put a disclaimer for that. Just, I just thought about that. Don't look at the eclipse directly. Put some, there's some special glasses for that, Cancer. Just a little sidebar that just actually just popped in my head there. But, you know, keep, keep the eyes on the moon safely. <laughs> just, you know, when she's in, you can look at her during like, you know, a lunar eclipse. But during a solar eclipse, you know, let's not look too hard at the moon. And I will get you <laughs> on the next one tomorrow.